Hello Geniers! Welcome to the Genie Channel. For this video, we will discuss the different stock statuses found under the master product list. The purpose of the stock status is to check if the stocks across your stores, Genie dashboard, and warehouse are synchronized. In this section, you can see that there are four kinds of stock status, Disable, Warehouse, and Able and Combination. What are the differences between the four stock statuses? The first one is the Disable stock status. When you create a master product, the initial stock status will always be disabled as it indicates that the item has not been inbound to the warehouse and the stock monitor and sync feature under stock settings is still inactive. The second is warehouse. This appears when the master product has been inbound to the warehouse. When we point the cursor here, we can see that the product is already inbound to any warehouse. The third stock status is Enable, which means that the master product has been inbound and the stock monitor and sync feature is already activated. When a master product has an Enable stock status, the inventory across your stores, Genie dashboard, and warehouse are already synchronized. The last stock status is Combination. This indicates that the master product is a combination or a bundle of several master products. You can check which master products are included in this combination product. Next, we will provide a tutorial on how to inbound products into the warehouse. The stock status warehouse will appear on your master products after this. Just hover over the disable stock status, click inbound now, and you will be directed to the add product to warehouse page. Choose which items need to be inbound, then select the destination warehouse. In this case, you only have one warehouse, which is Genie's default warehouse, Warehouse 001. Click Submit After. After that, you have an option whether to edit the stocks or to confirm. If you choose to confirm, the master product information will enter the warehouse but the stock count will not be recorded. With this, the master product will enter the Not Inbound tab under the stock list. To update the stock, Hover over the pencil icon and enter the stock quantity you want to set. You can also fill in the purchase price. Once done, click OK. The next step is to activate the stock monitor and sync. You can find this by clicking stock and then stock settings. You can now go back to the master product list and see if the stock status has changed already from disable to warehouse and enable. This means that the stocks that appear in your stores, Genie Dashboard, and Warehouse are synchronized to each other. Good luck, Geniers!